Scattered on a palette of mesmerizing blue waters, shines brightly thousands of white ivory isles. Swaying in the sun, the palms sing in harmony with the cheerful glee of the natives oh so friendly. Captivated by this were the first handful of visitors that landed in Maldives 40 years ago, transforming the historic journey of making Maldives into a world-class tourist destination. Though magnificent, the archipelago is vulnerable to the forces of nature, which also empowers its beauty. Spread throughout the entire nation, tourist resorts and liverboards have made a name for themselves in the worldwide markets, selling a unique brand of hospitality, which is now facing an imminent threat due to climate change. In 2012, the Ministry of Tourism, in partnership with the United Nations Development Programme and the Global Environment Facility, has undertaken a nationwide initiative to enhance the capacity of its main economic sector, tourism, to adapt to climate impacts. Known as the Tourism Adaptation Project, TAP, the project has been designed to increase adaptive capacity of the tourism sector in Maldives to respond to the impacts of climate change and invest in appropriate adaptation measures. This objective is to be achieved by accomplishing three outcomes. First outcome is to strengthen adaptive capacity of the tourism sector to reduce risks to climate-induced economic losses. This is to be achieved by assessing the current adaptation practices in the tourism sector and making recommendations for needed policies and regulations in the area of economic value of adaptation, building standards, freshwater management, solid waste and wastewater management, and physical and energy infrastructure. Under this strategy, capacity of the government institutions will be enhanced through trainings and discussions. In the second outcome, the project aims to reduce vulnerability of at least 10 tourism operations and 10 tourism-associated communities to the adverse effects of climate change. To achieve this challenging outcome, a national adaptation platform has been established to support effective public-private partnerships for climate change adaptation and to demonstrate technical recommendations from the studies. Third outcome and objective to be achieved for the project is transferring of climate risk financing solutions to public and private sector tourism institutions. Under this outcome, studies on climate risk financing options potentially suitable for the Maldives will be carried out and tourism operators and government representatives will be trained on these options and their potential application. The baseline survey undertaken shows that the unpredictability of weather patterns is a major concern for tourist operators. The most concerning impacts of climate change identified by the tourism operators were coastal beach erosion, coral bleaching and increase in extreme weather events which might lead to decrease of tourist arrivals. Constructing sea walls was the most common form of coastal protection and adaptation in practice against beach erosion. Tourism operators generally practice sustainable waste management methods such as waste segregation and composting. A third of the resort operators are of the opinion that there is a lack of appropriate technology available for climate change adaptation and there is concern that appropriate waste management and disposal facilities are lacking in the country. Seventy-six percent of the tourism operators have identified that their businesses would have a negative impact if tourism-dependent communities are affected by climate-related hazards. These communities identified that beach erosion, drought, rainfall-induced flooding and storms are the main impacts of climate change to them. Sixty percent of surveyed communities have already experienced climate-induced infrastructure damage. Yet 80% of tourism operators did not identify financial investment as a constraint to investing in climate change adaptation. And so far, little consideration has been given to quantify financial losses from climate-related damage. 15% of tourism operators also reported no knowledge of what causes climate change, reflecting a dire need in raising awareness to the adverse effects of climate change. This calls for the strengthening of the relationships between the government institutions and the other stakeholders to work in a more cohesive and collaborative environment. 
The study on water and wastewater management indicated that the absence of a comprehensive national strategy and standards is heavily impacting how we manage water in tourist resorts. Wastewater disposal in some resorts needs to be improved in order to protect the groundwater. The current tourism regulations require minimum water storage for a five-day consumption. However, regular monitoring of water quality is often limited to fresh water, but not to discharge wastewater or treated reused wastewater. While water management is insufficient in the tourism sector, public health issues are a raising concern to local communities due to the contamination of groundwater. Desalination is often seen as the solution for freshwater scarcity, but TAP studies recommend better cooperation between resorts and island communities in the area of water, waste and coral reef management, especially developing rainwater harvesting solutions to its full potential. Policies that go in line with the development of these recommendations also need to be revised. A new national policy within the water sector needs to be formulated, along with the revisions to the current national building code and standards in order to embrace rainwater harvesting and renewable energies within construction and building regulations. The practice of one island, one resort concept has a high tourist appeal from the start of the international tourism for this small island destination. However, the dispersed geography is challenging for adequate solid waste management. With different resorts taking different approaches, earliest resorts simply dumped garbage into the surrounding seas. While 21% of all waste produced in Maldives is attributed to tourism, in recent years, many resorts have now adapted more innovative and environmentally sound solutions, such as waste segregation and composting. Some resorts have eco-centers built on the properties, which recycle wood into wood chippings, plywood and even furniture, and glass into concrete mixtures for building purposes, and biodegradable waste into compost that feeds the vegetation of many of these properties. Non-biodegradable waste such as plastics are sent for recycling. Many tourist resorts have also integrated these practices to help the outlying inhabited islands manage their solid waste. Yet, many tourism operators were found to be concerned about non-presence of waste management facilities in local islands and adequate transport network. Transfer of waste from tourist facilities and island communities is a challenge to development of a comprehensive, cost-effective treatment and disposal network for the Maldives. Management of waste in tourist resorts do not address the broader waste management issues throughout the Maldives. As a result, TAP studies have recommended to create awareness through means of campaigns and advertisements, with special emphasis on training and education on minimizing waste and environmentally sound waste disposal practices. The baseline studies conducted under TAP shows more than 65% of the resorts, 62% of the safaris and 50% of the tour operators have insurance coverage in place for climate-related hazards. For extreme events of medium and low frequency of occurrence, certain financial instruments including insurance provide a cost-effective risk management solutions such as allocation of resources for creating reserve funds, investments in contingent credit lines and development of a parametric or index-based insurance product. But given the Maldives' geographical and economic exposure, the best way to address climate hazards involves the use of a mix of loss prevention risk retention and risk transfer tools. With the tourism sector in a symbiotic relationship with its dependent communities, it is vital for financial services within the communities to develop a customized financial instrument to address risk management needs. The TAP project is the foundation of setting up the framework on climate change adaptation in the Maldives, something that needs to be accepted and adopted throughout the tourism sector and its stakeholders. With support from the Least Developed Countries Fund, 
The TAP project will also establish new public-private investment partnerships between the government of Maldives and tourism resorts to showcase the economic and environmental benefits of climate adaptation. It will also establish a national tourism adaptation platform, MTAP, to support effective public-private partnerships for climate change adaptation in the Maldives tourism sector. This platform aims to forge public-private partnerships for the initiatives that will employ the concept of climate resilience, apply the principles of responsible tourism and promote investments that minimize negative environmental impacts. This platform brings together representatives from the tourism operators, government and communities for them to engage in partnership projects that will focus on climate resilient solutions to freshwater supply, wastewater, solid waste, building standards and beach management. In addition, community-based adaptation projects in tourism-associated communities under TAP will demonstrate how tourism operators and tourism-dependent communities can cooperate on joint initiatives to reduce common vulnerabilities. As the country moves towards carbon neutrality and green development, Climate adaptation and increasing resilience in the tourism sector is the first step in realizing this desire of survival for the inhabitants and visitors to this exotic yet vulnerable island paradise, the Maldives.